Continuing with slide 20 now, this is all about DNA replication or Xeroxing, if you will. So we're talking about the S phase that we just looked at in interphase. Before a cell can reproduce, you know, it has to first replicate, means make a Xerox copy of its DNA. And this occurs in animal cells in the nucleus. So all this is going on in the nucleus of the cell. So DNA is a double helix structure. It means it looks like a ladder that's then twisted on itself. And you can see when you zoom in here, the twisted double helix structure of the DNA right in here. Each strand of DNA, this side and this side, for example, is a chain of four types of nucleotides. Nucleotides in DNA contain a deoxyribose sugar, a phosphate, and a nucleobase. And the four types of nucleotides correspond to the four nucleobases, and those are the, what you see here on the screen, adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine. And these are commonly abbreviated as A, T, C, and G. Adenine always pairs with thymine, so A with T, and cytosine always pairs with guanine, C with G. There are many reasons for that. This is just a very simplified version of why they pair with each other for right now. Each side of this double helix that you see runs in the opposite anti-parallel direction. The beauty of this structure is that it can unzip down the middle and each side of it can serve as a template for the other side. This is called semi-conservative replication. However, DNA does not unzip entirely. It unzips in a small area called a replication fork, and that's what you're seeing here is this small area only is what has unzipped, and that's the replication fork. And eventually this replication fork moves down the entire length of the molecule. Different types of cells replicate their DNA at different rates. Some types of cells constantly divide, like hair, fingernails, and bone marrow. Other cells go through several rounds of cell division and stop, including specialized cells like brain, muscle, and heart. Finally, some cells stop dividing, but can be induced to divide and repair injury, like liver cells, for example. Here, please make a note of the additional steps that we've just talked about, summarization of what we just said. Moving to slide 21, now it's your turn to see if you can complete the two new strands of DNA. Try to fill in 1 through 4 and 5 through 8 using the base, po base pairing rules of A with T and C with G. Try it now.